is verse 13 of the seventh chapter in the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus beginning to wrap up now this remarkable treatise that we commonly call the Sermon on the Mount. He's been giving various warnings, but now in a sense to summarize the general import of the entire message, he gives this uh, command. We have ace eil theta. This is from eris ace erkamai. It means to enter. This is the second person uh, plural. Aorist active imperative. So uh, enter is the command. Enter. Dia, taking the genitive here, means through. Uh, Tes stenes. Uh, this word uh, is the word for um, to be uh, translated uh, traditionally straight. It really means narrow, uh, as in a strait of, uh, of a waterway, something like that. Uh, it's actually based originally on the uh, word histemi, which means to stand. And the image was that you're entering into a place where there's all kinds of things standing around you, and you have to kind of uh, navigate uh, your way through a somewhat narrow passage. And so it's a straight in that sense, enter into the straight, meaning difficult, challenging. Uh, Pules, this is from pule, means uh, uh, a gate. It's uh, declined the same way as mathetes or prophetes. So enter into the straight, the narrow gate. Uh, hard to find, challenging, find that gate. Uh, the explanation hoti, conjunction, means because. Platea, it's from the word that means, or is a, our English word plate, something that's flat. And uh, of course, if it's something that's flat, then it means it doesn't put up much in the way of impediments, because flat, we might say. Uh, hey, pule, the gate. Kai, and then Eurokoros. A koros means a field or a, a place, a, a land. It's usually suggestive of something expansive. The U at the beginning of it here, uh, a good place. So uh, flat and uh, welcoming is the idea, is the place. Uh, and then Jesus says, hohodos. This, of course, is a feminine noun, and so we have the, uh, the use of the feminine article here. It's a feminine noun. Uh, so flat and wide welcoming is hey hodos the gate the away, uh, hey apogusa, uh, participle here the leading is the idea from apago to lead <coughs> to lead from so this is a welcoming place this gate which leads ace preposition tain apoleon from apolomi which means to uh, destroy. It's a noun, uh, into destruction. So this is a welcoming place that leads into destruction. Kai poloi, many. Uh, polus, pole, poloi. Uh, the idea is many or much here in the plural, many. Asen, third person plural. Present active indicative of amy, I am. Many are hoi, uh, ace erkomenoi. This is, of course, the same word basically as up here. Uh, many are those who uh, entering, many the entering, uh, de outes, uh, through it, through this welcoming gate. So, of course, the whole point is that the Sermon on the Mount is uh, set for us, a challenging standard. But uh, if we have any uh, concern about our eternal welfare, about the state of our soul, then we should obey Jesus' command to uh, uh, be diligent about seeking that narrow gate, which is hard to find and difficult to, ne to uh, negotiate, and yet uh, is certainly well worth the effort, uh, rather than drifting along into a way that's wide and uh, not uh, providing any impediments, uh, easy, uh, and of course uh, many uh, are those that find that, uh, but ultimately it leads them to their own destruction.